Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be discussing a bunch of crazy theories that probably are true uh, to coincide with that. What to expect in Chapter 1's map return. Will it be the entire map? Uh, we'll talk about that. We'll also talk about the weapons, points of interest, and how the updates will progress for the 30-day time period. So let's get into it. So first things first, a guy named BZeebs uh, just said, bro, let me cook. So this is a pretty crazy theory, and it actually makes a lot of sense. So check it out, then afterwards we'll talk about it. Okay, guys. I think... I think I found something a little interesting in some of the old Fortnite trailers. So I went back because I was like, since the whole season five leak, I was like, what else can I find? So I started to view the season six trailer and I noticed this. Yeah, so everyone knows how the rest of the trailer goes. The whole cube lake thing comes together, forms the island, Kevin Island's form, yada yada yada. But that first part of the clip was interesting to me. Because if you look at Sunstrider's face, there's this blue flash of light for a second. And then she goes to Suntan Specialist and she's like, well, what's that? And he's like, I don't know. What if that's Kato's time machine? What if that's them visiting the first day of season six, something we haven't yet to see yet? I don't know. You heard it first from me. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so what he was essentially saying is, you know, during this time period of the trailer, that blue flash that we see on her face is likely the time machine. And that's probably due to the fact that, well, this is a chapter one season five trailer. And obviously we know for a fact that inside the game right now, Cato Thorne's time machine is of the exact same date as chapter one season five. So it would actually make a lot of sense. And it does make sense as far as why does a blue flash inside the time machine and not a purple flash if it was from the cube that, you know, made the flash. So it definitely makes sense. It's like a rift or a time time machine looking color and uh yeah so let us know in the comments below what you guys think uh, that's a pretty crazy theory if that is true that also confirms a theory that donald mustard has planned years in advance and i'm pretty sure he even told us at some point that he does plan years in advance so pretty crazy uh, about the next upcoming chapter one map. So we all know for a fact we're going back to a time period, likely close to a time period of chapter one, season five. So uh, next season will not have the entire chapter one map. It should contain about 60% of it though, with 40% being the chapter four original map. The map should change weekly and it's currently unknown if more OG locations will return. And this is via Wenzo. Uh, so yeah, we're not entirely going back to the chapter one map, but about 60% of it will come back with new points of interest and every single week progressively uh, we'll be seeing points of interest being swapped out by rifts or the time machine or time vortex. You know, we're not entirely sure how this will actually happen every single week, but obviously something will happen probably in real time. So kind of similar to what we've seen uh, back in chapter one, the cube roll around the map in real time or the portals, the rifts uh, disappearing and taking stuff from in real life into the game. We're probably going to be seeing this happen in real time. So at some point while playing the game, I'm sure there'll be trackers of it, uh, thanks to a bunch of Twitter pages, but it will legit just start changing points of interest. A massive riff will take place and bam, we have a different point of interest. Uh, so yeah, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Definitely something to definitely take note of. Definitely something to not miss. This is a one-time thing that's only been happening for 30 days. And yeah, do not miss it. Uh, to coincide with that, uh, we know for a fact one point of interest is now confirmed and that is Tilted Towers. Uh, so Tilted Towers is definitely going to be a part of the Chapter 1 map return. Now again, it's only going to be 60% of the map, so 40% of it, uh, a good chunk of it will be, you know, just a regular Chapter 4 map, but some sort of sections or scattered sections will be returning locations. And at those locations, apparently you guys can also pick up OG weapons, uh, OG vehicles, and stuff of that nature. So shopping carts. Uh, the four wheelers, I can't remember what the actual names are, but you guys know what I'm talking about. The golf carts and just everything that used to be in OG Fortnite. So think of chapter one, that stuff should be featured at those locations. So kind of go a little bit off topic, but about chapter five, uh, Rocket League cars could be coming to Fortnite. Player to player trading was removed on December 5th, same date as chapter five for future plans for some Rocket League vehicles to come to other games over time. I thought this was very obvious, but I'm referring to the racing mode in Chapter 5. If this is related in any way, this would basically mean that you can use some of the Rocket League cars in Fortnite's racing mode. Keyword, cross-game ownership. 
Uh, so yeah, we all know for a fact that Epic Games did in fact buy Rocket League, so it's very possible we're now seeing the same collaborations or at least the base model vehicles of Rocket League come to Fortnite, at least inside the racing mode. So kind of a cool little thing to mention. Uh, about yesterday's video, uh, Leak Chapter 1 map is returning for Chapter 4 Season 5. Uh, the season will feature old models and guns. It will be insanely fast paced and has constant map changes until the end of November. And guys, don't forget once again that uh, Epic Games did say in a leaked email that you will not run out of content as a creator or as a person playing the game in the months of November, December especially. Uh, so between like season 5 and next season going to be chapter 5, it's going to be incredibly fast paced. Every single week will be something new and obviously in December we are getting close to the Christmas time. So again, very, very fast paced. The Christmas season for chapter 5 is going to be absolutely wild I hear and I cannot wait to see it. So Epic Games has been absolutely cooking and the theories are finally coming back and it honestly is starting to feel like old Fortnite once again. Uh, so I am all for that. Uh, in other news, though, we have for you guys some more information about Jack Skellington. I absolutely love this dude. So it looks like another Jack Skellington emote is either encrypted or scrapped as of right now. Private Jet Jack Skellington was supposed to have a custom variant emote that changes his style for his Santa variant. Now, obviously, this is probably just encrypted because, well, the skin is not released yet and we don't really have actual uh, video proof that this actually exists yet aside from the files. Uh, so, yeah, when he does release, if it does not come out with his transformative style or emote, it's probably just encrypted or it's for a future release. Now, about encrypted emotes, there's also one more email you guys probably have never seen before, as of course, this was just leaked thanks to the encrypted files. So another Jack Skeleton emote. Unfortunately, I cannot play the actual audio for this because it's copyrighted music, but it's essentially playing the exact same music that it did inside the movie. So in case you guys have ever seen the movie, it's just like the Jack Skeleton theme song. So yeah, check this out. And last but not least, uh, someone said, hey Epic, this just might be a sign that players want LTNs back more often. Insane. Who would have guessed that? And it does show that essentially Horde Rush is peaking at over 100,000 players. So yeah, this is considered an LTM uh, in Credit Mode 2.0, and obviously... We really want LTMs back. Right now is the absolute best time to release them as they're kind of bringing back OG Fortnite. So the huge hope right now is that once Chapter 1 gets back to the map in Season 5, uh, we'll be seeing some sort of LTMs every single week. That is definitely a possibility in my opinion. Uh, so let us know in the comments below what LTMs you guys want to see back. And with that being said, that's all I have for you guys for today's Fortnite video. Per usual, thank you guys so much for all the support. If you want to support me even more, use code HAPPY inside the item shop. Follow me over on TikTok for daily videos and stay happy. Happy.